Hello, hello, what is up everyone? Today we have a chest pump up workout for you guys. I am going to show you all the moves on this beautiful beach right here and walk you through them and then we are going to do the workout all out, so let's get started. All right, it is time to dig into this chest pump up. So first I'm gonna show you the moves. Each one we do for 30 seconds. I count for you, you don't have to count. We have a lovely little timer in one of these top corners of the video. So look out for that, this one, and we will get started. So we're gonna start with some push-ups. I'm gonna come down to my mat here and bring my hands shoulder width apart, palms are spread. Bring my feet hip width apart for some push-ups. If you need to modify, you can work from your knees, bringing your heels close to your bottom and keeping your abs in and do push-ups this way. But if you wanna do full out push-ups, you can work from the toes. So for 30 seconds push-ups, make sure those elbows go on the back diagonal, not directly out to the sides. Back diagonal, hips are tucked, butt is squeezed and abs are in for those push-ups. So 30 seconds there, that will be a fun one. After that, we're gonna do some bear plank shoulder taps. So what a bear plank is, is basically the same thing as a regular plank, but then you hover your knees and walk them in just a step closer with each foot. And then we're gonna do shoulder taps, keeping our shins hovering and our butt low, alternating tapping those shoulders. From there, we are going to do plank in and outs. So you can stay lots of planks here, and you can stay on your toes and just go out, out, in, in. So if you need to take them slower, you can step out with your foot and then your hand and your hand and your foot and step in one at a time. If you're more advanced, you can do both at the same time and come in at the same time. So those are your plank in and outs. After that, we are going to do monkey pumps. If you have never done a monkey pump before, these are fun. We are going to, I'm gonna sit crisscross applesauce. You can sit, stand, whatever for these. Bring your arms in front of you so your arm, forearms are parallel. Hands face, palms face you. You want your elbows at shoulder height and you're going to open up your arms like you are opening a curtain and bring your arms to a goal post. Those elbows are still in line with my shoulders here. We're gonna press overhead like an overhead press and pull down. So think close, open, up, down. Close, open, up, down. We're not gonna go super fast with them actually because we wanna keep them controlled, but those are our monkey pumps. After those monkey pumps, we are going to take it back to our plank position, back to the mat for some mountain climbers. Just wanted to sneak a little bit of cardio in here. So we are going to come to the front of our mat again. Arms are shoulder width apart, feet are hip width apart, and mountain climbers to the finish, driving the knees to the chest. Remember, if you need to slow it down, you can speed it up, take it to your own pace, that little cardio for the end of the workout. So that is your chest pump up. We are going to do the full thing all out. Okay, we have seen that walk through. We have seen the chest pump up moves. It is time to do the chest pump up workout all out. So let's dig into it. Getting into those push-ups to start, we're gonna come down to our mat and come to that push-up positions. Push, whoa, push-up position. 30 seconds here in that push-up and go. Remember bringing those elbows on the back diagonal. If you need, you can always work from the knees. Bring your heels to your seat and your toes are pointed with those push-ups. You want a nice deep bend in the arms. Go as low as you can, but focus on that good form. So make sure that your abs are in, your hips are tucked and your butt is squeezed. So keep going with those push-ups. If you wanna start with the knees and go to a plank, that is fine. But after those push-ups, we are going into our bare plank shoulder taps. So hands are shoulder width apart, bring those feet to your push-up push position and then walk them in about three inches on either side so those knees are hovering and shoulder taps go. 30 seconds here, we're gonna tap each shoulder. Try to keep those hips in place, keep those abs engaged, keep your gaze right at your mat. 
This one is challenging, but keep at it. If you need to drop your knees, keep going with those shoulder taps and stick with it here. You will be thankful that you did later and just push through. You got it. Keep going. Remember to breathe. We got three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome job. From there, we are going to go into our in and out plank walks. So coming back to that perfect plank position, in and out, three, two, and one. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Remember, if you need to take it slower, you can go right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot, right hand in, left foot in, whoa, right foot in, left hand in, left foot in. Getting my rights and my lefts mixed up here. Make sure you're keeping that nice, strong plank position. Almost there. Two and one, drop to the knees, slide them through, and time for those monkey pumps, everyone's favorite. So bring your arms in front of you, forearms are parallel, elbows are at shoulder height, and go right into those monkey pumps. So big open through the chest, Make sure to bring those arms all the way back and press overhead till the fingertips touch. So you'll start to feel this in the upper body. So this is a great active recovery. This is a great time to catch your breath. We do have an airplane overhead. Almost, almost there. We got three, two, and one. Awesome job, just those mountain climbers to finish. And we are through this workout, so keep going. Bring yourself to that plank position. Mountain climbers to the finish and crank it out. You got this. Give it your all out. Empty your gas tank right here. So keep those abs in. Drive the knee towards the chest. If you need to slow it down, just keep moving the body. Stick with it. Deep breaths. You are so strong and you have almost completed this workout. Make yourself proud, keep going. So close. I know this one always gets me. Keep going, we're at three, two, and one. Woo, awesome job, that was so great. You guys just killed that chest pump up workout. Hi, I'm out of breath, so I'm sure you guys are too. And make sure you check out our other workouts because we have so many more awesome ones for you. And hit that little red button to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.